Okay, this is a shout out to RWG Research and Russ Grease and his wife. Okay, this is a huge, huge thank you because what we're doing is ridiculously awesome. Watch this. This is special package delivery U.S. mail from Russ Grease to David Puck to Proton Spic Technology, care of Arthur J. Devine, doctor of science, the man that invented the recording head to get us to the computer chip, and the nominal displacement engine. Are you ready? Arthur, do me the honors. I was on my way to work and I got a little stork drop a package on the front porch. And uh, there's a big old handle with care and thank you. Okay, bunny rabbit. <laughs> there we go. There's, hold on, Art. You see this right here? Fast bunny? Yeah. Because we have Fast Eddie. <laughs> we'll talk about Fast Bunny and Fast Eddie later. <laughs> the white fox. Yeah, you're used to this. Oh. <laughs> right now, Art, wow. there's only two of these in existence. There's, there's only two of these in existence. Open it up. We're gonna put the link to the fabricator of this and he just got funded in a full-blown manufacturing debenture with BlackRock Financial and so did Russ Grease. Wait till you see what's in this box, in this bag, ladies and gentlemen, because I can hardly contain myself. Open it up. Can you read it? You yeah. want my glasses? Well, yeah. No, I see you. Oh yeah, mine are one twenty fives. His are you could burn a um, a firewood with those. <laughs> Be careful. That was custom made. Okay. Oh, that's a nice reamer. Yes, it is. <laughs> Taper pin. Hey, look at your hands today. They're glowing in the sun. <laughs> oh, this is wow. all carbide. That's right. What a waste of carbide. You don't need this. No, 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 no. Just this was custom was cut for this thing. Okay? Put that back because we don't want to chip the granite, <laughs> the tile on the thing. What do we got here? Oh, let me have the bit. I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It takes a lot to get me excited. Okay? My knees are shaking. You understand? <laughs> Be careful with this. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is a perfect replica of the Stan Myers spark plug injector. Okay. I am the only company that we know of that knows how to fire this correctly, okay? There's a couple more in, we got a couple of guys in our forums, Max Miller, Iron Max Miller, Russ Grease, McCain Butler Lee, okay? We're all manufacturing these. We have an arsenal, okay? But they've all been prototyped. We've got the production facility to produce a shitload of these. Okay? This is how we're going to... This is the spark plug injector for Arthur and I's bellows engine. So that we can explode CO2. CO2 is our fuel, mademoiselle. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, who made this? Uh, Don't worry about who made it. It'll be in the links, okay? Because uh, I, I forgot his name, that? but he's going to get fully recognized. Open this up. Uh, oh, oh, look at I saw this. We can handle the ceramic of this, right? Arthur, look at, open this. Take it apart carefully. Look at how badass this thing is. Let me pull the cap off. Look at, right. first, let me get it. Look at that injector. Yes. Okay, this is tight. You, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I need to back up something. I am a very good machinist, but I am a tractor machinist compared to the hands of this man here. He's a watchmaker compared to me. When it comes to accuracy, this is his new task in proton spin technology he's my cto but this he could twist these up by hand and make this look like a timex to a rolex you understand this is very very nice there's no disparaging here but we needed this right now to do the empirical testing but it's not going to get used we're going to make sure that the person and the entities that are involved in these are definitely, definitely non-circumvented, non-disclosed, except for their company, so they know you guys know who they are, and we're gonna make sure they have product on hand to represent the rest of this that we bring to the table, mm. okay? Because you can take this, put it right into any internal combustion engine, and use our fuel to run this, wow. putting fuel in your tank at 17 cents per gallon electricity cost okay and what do you do with this? open it up the reamer is for the tip we can machine everything else but they what had this reamer it? it goes inside to right do the this is a uh, 4.38 degree that. concluded open angle that. right yeah. Just a minute. So this it, this covers the detail of the bottom here. Right. Yes, oh, wow. I see that. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Right. And only my power energy won't degradate the electrode. Okay? Because we only fire off of one electrode. We don't put make hydrogen oxygen HHO. We only make pure hydrogen. Okay? So this is the ticket. And it's on our website under Stan Myers under HHO for a reason, mm. because that's the community that brought it to us. Oh. We started HHO in 05, okay? And, and we're a huge, huge community, wow. like ridiculously huge community wow. in the HHO, okay? Exactly. And, and Scott, Scott Smith, mm. our, our co-manufacturer in Central Valley HHO, the best hydrogen on demand company in the United States of America, which means the world, okay, on my website on HHO. So now we have a full blown onboard radical, make your own fuel, take some salt water, put it in your gasoline tank and one gallon of salt water goes to 1800 gallons of heavy hydrogen fuel that I produce. Okay, <laughs> you're right. So if you fill up your gas tank, it's a hundred gallon gas tank. Yeah. That gives you the equivalent of 18,000 gallons of fuel from that big old fuel source called the ocean. Oh, yeah, welcome to Blue Me Fuels, Art. We're gonna now populate the Blue Me Fuels page and we're gonna unlock all of the explosive tests that we did. That's that's why we bought the safe art because we explode this stuff and it is ridiculously cool and all my audience wants to see live explosion tests. But the reason we called it Blue Me Fuels yeah. is because we use cyanobacteria, old, blue, ME for microbial electrolysis, but fact is, mademoiselle, it almost killed me several times, so we call it blew me up, okay? Because I almost blew myself up several times. <laughs> oh, but this is a very nice uh, I, uh, first container. First of all, I didn't think uh, this had to come out of this. Yeah. 
just a very nice container. Just a, 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 a good case to protect. Yeah, oh, yes. That's why they There's hundreds of hours of machine work to oh, do this. Right. We oh, copied this. the patent that's open yeah. for Bainamly. So now it's just who can manufacture it the cheapest and who mm -hmm. can make it work owns the patent of the spark plug because nobody's been able to make it work so once it goes into my circuit it becomes an inclusion of my circuit copyright and i own the copyright and the patent of the stan myers injector now re solidifying for another 20 years Ooh, minimum this came from Russ Grease, who sent me my $250,000 oscilloscope, the only one I had left from our theft from Scott Wingrove. Okay, I had 10 of them. That big old oscilloscope on the shelf, that right was- back there, that antique? Yeah, that's for, for checking radio frequency plasma on lightning bolts. You can't put that much energy into a regular oscilloscope yeah. probe. It was designed for that. That, that oscilloscope has got to be at least 60 years it old. It is. The Pulse Plasma Lab that I bought for $500,000 from Los Alamos Labs is worth over $500 million that was stolen, took to the scrapyard by a drug addict, Scott Wingrove. Okay, but I, Russ, I gave him one oscilloscope. He did a full-blown video, diagnosed it, told me what was wrong with it, and... Uh, uh, then I said, I said, hey, Russ, I called him the other day and I said, hey, uh, dude, you still got that oscilloscope? He said, yeah, man, I've been lugging this shit around. It fucking weighs a ton. It weighs like 100 pounds, okay? But it's going to cost like $500 in shipping. Mm -hmm. So I called Steve Ellswick at Tesla Tech that I've been doing keynote speaking at for years and years. I said, hey, Steve, you're in Las Vegas. You got anybody coming to California? Because I need my oscilloscope. Within 24 hours, boom. It was at our door. And that's the guy that you met at the Excuse shop. Excuse me. Oh. T Steve Ellswick? Not the Steve that you know. No, a different Steve. Steve Ellswick. Is this the same? He used to work for Control No, Day no, 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 no. Different guy. He, Steve Ellswick is the producer of the Texas Technology Conferences that we're going to this year to bring working devices this but year. He never worked no, for Control no. Data Corporation. No, not for Control Data. There is another Steve Yeah, we're bringing live working devices to Tesla Technology Conference this year.